All right, all you drinkers across America, welcome back to another episode of Drinking Across America, Ron's Reviews, with me, your host, Ron, Ratcatcher and Tenori. And this episode, I'm going to be reviewing Heavy Seas Beer out of Baltimore, Maryland, and their Tropicana Citrus IPA. This IPA comes in at a fairly moderate 7.25% ABV. It is punchy and fruit forward. A Tropicana burst with juicy flavors of blood orange, grapefruit, mango, and lemon. So pretty citrusy, pretty fruity. I'm hoping anyhow, because I'm not a big fan of the pine cone biting into kind of IPAs that are all piney and hoppy. I'm not a big fan of that. I could really care less about that. I like more citrusy, and that's why I've got the Tropicana today. And it is packed with Simcoe and Citra hops, and it's kicked up citrus flavor with orange and limp grapefruit peel. The unexpectedly bold tropical flavors of Tropicana Cannon are refreshing, as refreshing as they are fun. So we're going to hope that they're a little bit fun, and we're hoping that they're a little refreshing as well. So we're going to go ahead and pop it open. Yeah, I got a nice little foam on it right there. You can smell the uh, smell the citrus. Got the blood orange. Got some regular orange. Go ahead and pour it out. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but you can hear the suds, man. There we go. Nice head on it. Set that down. Hold it up for everyone to see. It is a nice orangey color. Got a nice white foamy head on it. Yeah, that is, that's a beautiful looking beer. Very nice. Very nice. Looks crisp and clean. Yes, it has a lot of the blood orange, a uh, little bit of grapefruit. Yeah, there comes the mango. Well, let's go ahead and give it a sip, give it a taste, and see what you think. It's actually not too bad. You do have that blood orange that takes over immediately. You get a little hot. You got the hoppiness, though. You, of course, it's IPA, so you're going to have the hoppiness uh, to it. It kind of sneaks up from the back in your mouth, and it makes its way to the front. You start off with the blood orange. Then some grapefruit. Tasting more lemon than what I am a mango. Not getting much of a mango flavor out of this. Not getting a whole lot on the scent either. It is mostly the blood orange. That's really not too bad. Uh, not too bad, not too good. I'd probably give it maybe one pint up. A um, little too hoppy for me. Not enough citrus fruity flavor to it. Um, you do have that citrus, but the hop is just a little bit too much in my opinion. Um, you know, 7.25%, 7.25% alcohol. Um, so it's not too heavy for an IPA. It comes on probably about the low end of most IPAs. You're looking at 7, 8% is about the average. Um, a lot of the citrusy ones, you will find them around 6% ABV. So it does have a little more kick to it therefore you know the heavy seas beer brand that's what it's about it's about a more heavy high gravity um, higher alcohol content beer than what the original brewing company clipper city brewing was known for and it, the based out of baltimore clipper city is named after the clipper ships that would dock in baltimore harbor uh so Frank Saison, Hank Saison, Sison, who founded Heavy Seas, um, 
left his family's brew pub in 1994 because he wanted to brew beer on a larger scale. And he was very integral in making craft beer legal in Maryland. Uh, he worked with one of the representatives up there. They passed a bill allowing microbreweries, craft breweries to open up in Maryland. Uh, so, you know, they are known for their heavy, heavy alcohol content beers, heavy seas, heavy. That's where they get their name from. Um, it is, it is a refreshing beer. I mean, you can tell by looking at the color of it that it is an IPA. Um, it does have that kind of a golden color to it. Um, a little richer gold, um, than what your, um, ales or lagers would have. Does have that, um hoppy flavor to it a little bit of citrus like i said i would only give it probably a one pint up not one of my favorite beers not a terrible beer but it's just not one that i would drink on a regular basis or one that i would want to drink more than one of so on that note i'm going to finish up my heavy seas tropic cannon if you ever have a chance of trying Tropic Cannon, you like IPAs, you want to try something a little bit different from a little brewery that you may not have heard of, I recommend the brewery itself to at least try these heavy gravity beers. So until next time, I'm going to wind on down. I'm going to finish up the Heavy Seas Tropic Cannon, and I'm going to see you next time. And stay safe and stay sober, but don't stay sober. And by staying safe, I mean, when you're out drinking at your favorite brew pub, brewery, bar, restaurant, or game, or wherever you are, and you need a ride home, call a friend, call a cab, call a ride share, Uber or Lyft. I always recommend Lyft because they work with different brewery, partner with different breweries around the country, offering their patrons, you and me, discounts for using their service to get us home safe. And don't worry about leaving your car at the brewery. They're not going to tow your car. Hell, they may even buy you your first beer the next day when you come in, knowing that you were safe enough that you did not drink and drive. So, I'm going to finish it up with my Tropicana. Until next time, coming at you with another episode of Drinking Across America, Ron's Reviews. Yeah. Not a real big fan of that.